705 departing from Arno Creek Trailhead. Wonderful day. 15 minutes in, pass through some burn area. You can see iceberg peak in front, I roll out to the right. I'll take the ridge to the left, mid left. Half an hour in, have to cross this creek. Soon after crossing the, the river, got uh, a bit left on the Woods Gulch Trail, reached this meadow and I'm uh, mounting that ridge in front. On the open ridge, finding my way between bushes. The view is quite nice. On the ridge. From here is quite visible the ridge that I took. Relentless ascent. I got on the ridge somewhere there. A little bit left to iceberg, that one. And that's Airola. Iceberg peak. Nice view. Arnold and uh, disaster. It was looking north. Looking past reservoir, check it out. And uh, Tardanella is west and Tardanella film. Looking a bit. There's a small register here, the last entrance is from last year in August. Very low traffic in general. Spent quite a while on this peak. Had some lunch. I'm departing for, for Airola. Here's the saddle. And that's how I descended. Use the ice axe for the traverse. I think I'm going to come back here and descend this valley. Smooth descent on the snow. And that's what's left. Uh, it's almost an hour from uh, Iceberg and I'm on the Airolo Peak. Better view to the north, Highland, Silver Peak, and east are not in the middle with disaster. That is looking back towards Iceberg and Tardanellas. Parting, descending in the previous saddle. Descending quite a lot. This can be climbed also, I think. Uh, okay, continue, but I have a feeling for the ridge on the right side there. I was able to keep it on the snow for quite a while. That's the last patch, I think. Protects the knees. And I think this is one of the last panoramas I get. So, that's that. Finished with the snow, got into the bushes. Full bush cover. I'll have to whack them. 
I got into the next valley and I think I'll follow this for a while or whatever because on the side they are just full of bushes I came through those back into the trail the official trail one hour and a half all good On the return trip, cross this creek, and it is more complicated. The water is dark, you know, see the bottom, and the water is deeper as well, about 50 centimeters, 20 inches or so. Approaching trailhead, good trip, good day hike. The views are nice uh, from the top, typical for this part of the Sierra, and. Um, the trip wasn't that hard, you know, a lot of effort, the climb was, uh, was relentless in the beginning, but uh, rewarded by some pretty good views. Recommended. Achoo! Ooh la la,